These little things are driving me crazy. I'm getting kind of nervous with my sweater off in my classroom. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do some teacher outfits cause haven't done it in a while. So I have some spring winter outfits coming at you. Today's Monday, so outfit number one. Okay, so breaking it down, I forgot a necklace, but I have this really cute daisy dress that I got from, shoot, I don't remember, but I'll put it somewhere. Uh, but I love this dress because the sleeves are like my favorite part about this dress. They're like little bell sleeves, but because they're high up, they're not getting in a bunch of stuff. They're out of the way, but definitely cute and flowy. I am wearing it with leggings because it is a little short teacher style. Pretty much, unless my dress goes down to my knees, I'm gonna wear leggings underneath it. And this is one of those dresses. They're actually like long drawn, so they're like fleece on the inside, so super soft. This belt actually came with another dress of mine from New York and Company. I might actually wear that dress later this week. So now it's like a little cinched waist, has more of a cutesy flair to it, but it looks super cute without it too. It just kind of flows. But because of the sweater, it felt a little like meh. Plus with the belt, it adds a pop of color. And with my matching yellow sweater, this is a Marona. Pretty sure I got it from Target or Kohl's. Shoes, okay, I'm gonna say this, I say it in every outfit video, I'm not a big shoe person. I only have like three or four teacher shoes that I wear. I am expanding my shoe closet, not today. So these are the shoes I got today. Oh, that's my desk. So they're just my simple little heels that I got from Target. And I like these ones because they are low heel. They're super comfy, I wore them today with zero problem. And I've had these shoes for like two years. They're one of my faves. I also like this outfit because I can just take off the leggings after work and then now I just have like a cute, normal dress, you know? So that's Monday's outfit. I even had a student come and say, Miss Blair, your outfit is like the cutest today. You did a really good job. And I was like, oh, thank you. So that's one thing about elementary school. If you got a cute outfit, they'll tell you. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> All right, so here's outfit number two. So I have plain black pants, Levi's from Target. Highly recommend. They are so comfy. They actually go pretty high waist and they're fitted in the back. They loosen up just a little, but yes. So kind of on the expensive side since they're Levi's, but I love them. I wear them all the time. With one of my favorite teacher tees. A whole lot of learning going on. Okay, I got this from Davies Boutique, I believe. I'll put the link in the description below. But yeah, super cute shirts. The llama theme going on in my classroom, so this was perfect. And then although it's a light blue color, I tried the pink to add a little color, and also because, like I said yesterday, I am expanding my shoe collection, and today, I have proof. So, here are my shoes. Keep calm and teach on. They're super cute. I got these from Groove Bags, and they're super comfy. So, so that's my outfit for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. So this jumper I got from New York and Company. It is a very soft, sleek, it's got pockets, it's got a tie to cinch the waist, and it's such a good summer jumper because it is lightweight and just like thin. But because today was cold, I was able to put on leggings. <laughs> but because it's cold, I was able to put leggings on underneath, and you can't even tell. Got my classic little Target heels on. This jumper is actually strapless and have a cute after work outfit. So it's perfect for like going out to a nice dinner or something after work, but then just throw on a little cardigan and you are teacher ready, my friend. So this is the perfect outfit for when I have something going on after work. So I want to look cute and nice and sleek. It's also tea tree because the polka dots and everything, especially with the colorful sweater. Well, my friends, today is done. So I am out of here. See you tomorrow. Getting kind of nervous with my sweater off my classroom. <laughs> Cheers. Happy Thursday. Today's outfit is bright as can be. So I got my sweater from Kohl's. It's cruft and bare to be specific, but super soft. And this jumpsuit, okay, these little things are driving me crazy. And you can't wear an actual bra because it goes wider than normal shirts. So I have to wear a strapless. So that might drive me crazy today. But it's, but it's comfy and cute. It's got pockets got the bell bottoms 
and yeah. I had an IEP meeting this morning, so I thought I'd dress it up a little bit. And I have my elephant necklace on, so it just adds a cute little accent because the belt has a little silver loop, so just a little silver dangly necklace to go with it. And yeah. So there is my outfit for Thursday. Happy Friday, we made it to the end of the week. Okay, and it was a day. Anyway, let me show you my outfit for today. So I have some real fancy jeans and my shirt. My shirt is my favorite. You probably saw it in my last weekly vlog. I get them for my class every year and they're just our portraits. They're so cute. And you could put your school's name on it if you want. And especially because with this whole vlogging thing, I don't like my school to be all out there. So I just like this as my name, what grade. And especially because yearbooks aren't that big of a deal here for whatever reason, having these shirts is a really great keepsake. The kids love it, I love it, their parents love it. I've gotten a lot of compliments from parents. So this is one of my favorite things that I do every year. So I used to get my shirts from Whitney Daniels and she's all the way in like North Carolina or something. So it took a lot longer to get them. Those shirts are about $8 a piece. And I normally ask kids to pitch in and whatever kids can't, I normally fundraise one way or another. So that way everyone gets a shirt. There's now one kiddo that does not get a shirt. Now I go to just a local t-shirt shop and I'm pretty sure most can do it. If you just kind of show them, hey, this is what I'm looking for. This is the price range. For the last two years I've done it in town and they cut off a dollar. Now they're like $7 and it's a little bit easier. And for jewelry, I brought a really cute necklace, but because of these dang nails, I can't put them on by myself. And now it's been in my pocket and so it's tangled and that'll be fun later. And I promised another cute pair of teacher shoes, so here we go. Be a teacher and inspire. They're from Groove Bags. I think they have like teacher bags too. That would make sense. Got some bark in there from PE. Not sure how much they were because they were a Christmas present, but I'll find it and I'll put it in the description down below. So that is my comfy, casual Friday outfit. All right, so if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.